welcome back to another episode of Nice Tries. I'm Nice, your host, and today we are on episode 6 of our Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. In our previous episode, we finally beat that first gym. Only took us two tries, that's not so bad, but in, in a Nuzlocke, it, it's less than stellar, let's put it that way. Uh, but we did make it through, and that means that I have earned back the lab coat. Super excited, let's go ahead and change into that, and then we're ready to go and get into the game, and let's go ahead and start. All right, here we are, hot off the heels of our recent victory, ready to head to the Dream Yard to collect the Wonder Dust, or whatever the heck it's called. Oh, we've now changed seasons. Oh, that's right, because it's now gone from uh, February to March. Um, I believe we already taught something cut, so we should be good to go here. Yes, this is Nori proving her worth now. About time, right? Uh, ooh. Let's also set a timer, because I'm so forgetful. All right, there we go. Oop, wrong button. Okay. Oop, okay. Bianca, don't battle me. We just battled. You can't possibly want to battle again. Hi, Nice. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? I'm gonna do a better job looking than that. Oh, that's a mana for sure. That's a mana. Hey, did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see. I was gonna be doing that regardless, but sure, thanks girl. There's a good bit of items in this area. Hopefully we'll find something actually uh, pretty good for us. Didn't mind the Razor Claw. Razor Claw's A-OK. -okay. Oh, wait! This is where we seem Team Plasma, yeah. We found you, mana. Come on, come on! Make some Dream Mist! No! Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Mana and Masharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show dreams to manipulate their hearts. That is the plot for Inception. Right there. That did. Which one of these games came out first? This was 2010? When did, when did Inception come out? Hang on real quick. We got to look that up. Did Inception rip its plot straight from... Hang on, hang on, when did that come out? They came out the same year! Oh, there was some collaboration! I think they were, they were in cahoots! Oh, come on, spit out that Dream Mist! You're kicking a Pokemon to make it jig off Dream Mist? That's mean! Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right, we're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So, on that note, we're gonna rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt nice! Like, uh, <clears throat> Bianca's voice isn't quite getting there. I was, uh, singing a lot earlier today and, uh, might have done Supremacy by Music a few too many times and, uh, Really strained the vocal cords, but it'll be alright. Alright, Samurott, that is a formidable foe. It's only level 11, though. Alright, that is quite a step down from the recent gym leader. Would definitely like to get this experience on Karis. Oh, I do enjoy Team Plasma's uh, theme. I think it's a pretty good song. Hopefully under half? Not quite, that's okay. Water Gun, okay. I, did, I do think we put the King's Rock on Karis, which I'm not sure how Flinch Chance works with double hitting moves or multi hitting moves but seems like it'd give us a better chance right since it triggers like uh on hit effects like uh rough skin multiple times you'd think it would trigger on damaging effects multiple times maybe who knows we'll see if it feels like we're getting an unusual number of flinches then maybe that's why that is a solid amount of experience I'm very happy with that it takes a lot to give karis an entire level our oh, beautiful dream Were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever. I'm next. Pretty good theme. Ooh, hat, 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 hat. Esteban. Dude, Esteban's such a popular name in this. Gengar, okay. We have Metal Claw. Alright, we can actually hit it. I was like, can we even touch this thing? We have Metal Claw, so we can. It's got Levitate, not Cursed Body, so we're not going to lose our only damaging move. Unless I can have Curse Buddy as a hidden ability and it happens to roll into that? I'm not sure. Oh, come on! That's like a 55% accurate move. How are you going to land your first Hypnosis? Basically a coin flip. Okay, uh, well, I mean, I want our guy to wake up here, and I don't see this thing really having anything too threatening for us. 
Now we can't switch. We, he's now taken the option away from us, so hopefully he doesn't have anything too spooky. Though, uh, you know, everything about Gengar is just spooky. Don't you eat my Metal Claws! Don't, don't, don't. We have plenty, so it should be fine. But, uh, I mean, if we stay asleep forever, then you never know. We are faster than him, so as soon as we wake up, should we get the kill? So, not a big deal. Not a big deal in the end. Should be decent experience, too. Solid. Yeah, over half a level. No complaints. Plasma! This is a nightmare! Ooh, hoo, hoo. hot, 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 hot. Oh, stop drinking it nice. It's too hot. I can't believe that we lost, but we have to obtain the dream mist. Kick, kick. Come on, make the dream mist. Knock it off. Whoa, oh, get this. Appears out of nowhere. What are you two doing goofing off? A second Getus appears out of nowhere. We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties. Th this isn't Getus when he's gathering followers or Getus when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is Getus when his plan has failed and he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry. I'd say we're going to be sorry if he doesn't forgive us. I'll say we're sorry if he forgives us? I don't know. Well done, Masharna. Sure! What was that just now? That person called Getus appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon... Oh! Is that Fennel? Yes, it is. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Masharna? Mashaw? Muni! It's all about that money. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Mana was here, but Team Plasma and Mana and Masharna came and showed us something like a dream, and then Team Plasma and... She's not very good at telling stories. I think I follow that. See, Masharna evolves from Mana, so seeing Mana in trouble, it uses its power of making dreams into reality to save Mana. Which means... Wait a second. Oh, we found the dream mist. Oh, ho, ho. is this dream mist? With this, I can complete my research. Come to my house later, okay? Phew, how random was that? Nice, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm going to look for Pokemon. We, the Pokemon we just saw now. All right, well, first we have some items to get and an encounter to get as well. Oh, wow, that was quick. Okay, well, what do we have at the dream yard? Bennett. Okay, I'm okay with that. Should be able to live a single Metal Claw, at least. Okay, Frisk is not great. Wish it had a different ability, but... I think it's, it's other one might only be Cursed Body? Insomnia. Insomnia is its other ability. Alright, cool. We lived one. Sweet. Or it lived one, rather. Screech, okay. Uh, it shouldn't have anything stabbed for us, especially at this level. So that should be okay. And uh, let's see if we can get it in a ball or two. Alright, to the Dream Yard, we have a Bennett. You're a female Bennett. I'll start thinking of a, a name, and the name is not going to be Annette, because that's two on the nose. No! No! No, 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 no! It just killed itself! What? All right. Bennett failed due to suicide. That's a shame. That's a shame. Well, what can you do? What can you do? It broke out of the ball and decided death was more, uh, more its side, uh, so... Death is more its taste than uh, being part of our party. So, what can you do? What can you do? Nothing. Can't do anything. Oh, well, that's a shame. Especially if we see something else that's pretty sick in this... Uh... Ooh, wait, there's an item there, right? Yeah, there is. Well, now that's a pretty sick get. That's a pretty sick get. What are we going to put that on? Are we going to put it on anything yet? We could put on Nori to actually get Nori some experience, since she can't fight for herself really at all. White Flute, okay. Does that have any actual usage? Oops. So that's a shame. I quite like Bennett. Uh, nope, just sells, okay. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's give Nori the XP share, sure. You know what? Let's not completely abandon her. She might, you know, get cut if we do acquire enough Pokemon to start making cuts later. What else could we have found here? Go ahead and make me sad by showing me something sweet. 
Spiritom. Okay. I mean, that's a solid Pokemon with no weaknesses. Can't really complain too much about that. Um, but, you know, not anything, you know, too, too terribly exciting either. So, go ahead and knock it out. Should be some decent experience, I think. Wow, that's way less than I thought it would do. We are uh, apparently not that strong. That did nothing. Thank you for raising my attack. Now I won't have to waste another Metal Claw on you. Very nice. Quite considerate of that Spiritomb. Spiritomb, Spiritomb. Probably Spiritomb. There literally is Tomb in the name. That makes sense. Uh, anything else in this area? Just curious. Maybe not? Okay, so a couple of ghosty boys and girls out here. Frisk, yeah, frisk. Not, not great. That's okay. Uh, go ahead, Metal Claw. This might get us up to level 16, which would be nice, and then we'll put somebody else up front for a little while. And uh, get a little bit of extra experience onto Nori there. Alright. Nori, I feel like that should have leveled it up. Maybe it's at level 9 pretty recently. Uh, let's get Ricardo out there. Alright. So let's see. Anything else to do around here? I don't think so. I think we're good to continue on our way. There's more that we can do later when we come back if we have strength and such. Uh, but for now, I believe that's all we can do. There is one cuttable tree here that could lead us to an item or two. Let's do that before we forget. This game introduced hidden grottos as well, didn't it? If we can actually find a hidden grotto, those are static encounters which we're allowed to use. But, uh, I, ah, there were two items. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. You know, choice band's okay. It's a little bit niche. But, uh, if we find one Pokemon that's really just got, like, one hard-hitting move, then maybe we can make it work. Um, what was I just saying? Ah, uh, yes, uh, but Hidden Grottos, I don't really know where they spawn, so if I find them, it's going to be more luck than anything anyways. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. And even then, there's not always a Pokemon in them, and they kind of spawn intermittently. I'm not, don't know what the whole deal is there, if I'm being honest. So, we'll see if, if anything happens there. Alright, do you sell different items now that, uh, we have beaten the gym? Do you sell any items at all? Heal, boy, hey, what was there? Uh, okay, so no nothing really, nothing really important at all. Okay, that's a shame. That's okay. Please, sir, talk to me. Aha, they do nest all the other things. Okay, uh, we will buy some super potions. Only for five of them. Oh my, we're so broke. We're so broke. Okay, hang on, we gotta sell some stuff. We gotta something sell that. So, all right. Uh, dire hit, I will sell. I don't really see an opportunity for us to get some use out of that. Muscle Band's pretty good. Not mad at that at all. Um, heat Rock? It's not self enough for me to bother. Poison Gem we can sell. We're never going to use that. Probably. Nope. Okay. Uh, can't tell CM. Sell TMs in this. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, we're pretty much just broke. Uh, I will try to get at least a couple of each of these items to uh, heal statuses. I know it's status. Well, status is also fine. I, I, I don't think it's actually wrong, but it's probably a little bit obscure. Okay, awakenings we can go without for now, I suppose. Um, uh, let's buy one awakening. Uh, burn heal and ice heal are less likely to be relevant. We do have that one full heal still sitting in our back pocket, so... We'll be okay, I think. And uh, let's make our way onto the next route and get another encounter. Should be a pretty encounter-filled episode here. This guy will finally let me pass, right? Oh, I have to go talk to Thanel. Ah, I hate this guy. He stops you for like eight different reasons. It's ridiculous. All right. This is Fennel's house. I'm pretty confident on that. Yes, it is. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care much about what you want to say. We, we're never going to use the sea gear in this. It's just not going to happen. It's only for like trading Pokemon and such. And uh, I believe that we did enable the ability to have a Pokemon that evolved by trade. Instead, they will evolve at level uh, 37. Okay, yes, I don't care at all about the sea gear. Though it's nice to have something a little bit more interesting to look at in the bottom screen in general. No, I don't want to learn anymore. I said no! Why are you telling me all about it? I said I don't have time! I'm mashing the B button. There's no way I, I clicked yes. So she just talked at me anyways, which is quite rude. 
Go away. Okay, wait, uh, what is this? The pal pad? I don't have friends. What are you talking about? Get out of here. That nonsense. Okay, yep. I don't... We don't need this. This is completely... Completely unnecessary. Yes, yes. I have no friends to register. We've been over this. Thank you. All right. Now we can go and be done with this area and be ready to go. The senior stuff, like, it's actually pretty good. I think they did a good job with designing that and, like, kind of implementing it in the bottom screen there. Uh, thank God he lets me by now. All right. I'm pretty sure there's... There it is. Knew there was a hidden item somewhere right around there. Full heal? I mean, I don't mind having another full heal. That is A-OK. -okay. All right. This is now Root Three. All right. Uh, don't think we can get to any Pokemon for a little while here. We could drop off something at the daycare. Not a terrible idea. I mean, we could toss Nori in there. But I think... Actually, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm more happy with that than at uh, leeching experience from our stronger Pokemon here. Uh, we'll throw it in the daycare and, you know, if we get into a dire situation where we're low on Pokemon, we can come back and it'll uh, be pretty... High level, which would be nice. Will I forget about Nori forever? Yeah, that's that's honestly, genuinely the most likely outcome, is I will forget that she is in there for the rest of all time. So uh, if there comes a situation where Nori would be useful and you remember that uh, she's in there, throw, uh, throw a little note my way maybe and uh, we'll, we'll get back on that. Oh, I forgot that there are trainers here. I was just moseying around looking for items. All right. You feel invincible because of smiles of children and Pokemon. Interesting. Are you a teacher? You're a swimmer, Jonathan. All right. Let me tell you, you're not invincible while you only got a Baneri. That's uh, it's not going to quite cut it. I did see that double battle coming up, which is why I switched around to have uh, Ricardo and Felix as our leads. Wow. That was a solid amount of damage. I mean, I know Ricardo's got a pretty good uh, attack stat, but... Dugong. Okay, we will switch now. Um, looks like a problem for uh, Karis, because everything else we've got is weak to ice. Might have a nice type move at this level. It's probably got at least like Icy Wind early on. Maybe nothing more threatening than that, but still. Come out with a couple of double kicks, take this thing out. By a couple, I mean probably two uses of double kick, so up to four kicks total. Never mind, this thing is way weaker than I thought it was, or we're just stronger. Whichever way you choose to look at it. Alright, so we should be pretty okay off, uh, just based on level advantages and such, uh, and our Pokemon being pretty strong boys. Um, is there anything? Hello, sir. Oh, that's right, he's, he uses Hyper Beam, doesn't he? Take this, Hyper Beam! It'd be hilarious if he actually had a Pokemon that uses Hyper Beam, because usually he's just being exaggeratory. Rucker Wellington. Don't think your Patrat's gonna have, uh, don't think that's gonna have Hyper Beam. That could actually realistically be what he's supposed to have, normally. Um, you know, it's conceivable, at least. I mean, that's, you know, that could happen. It is random. You can random right back into what it's originally supposed to be. It's less likely for that to happen, because it, you know, it's more likely to be literally anything else, but it can happen. Let's go down the slide. This is so disappointing. So disappointing. So easy to implement movement continuation here. Like, you have a set, if they step here, they slide back down. And if the, as soon as they step here, they go all the way. Nope, you can walk up and down the slide. My immersion is destroyed. All right, battle these kiddos. Probably should I should catch a new Pokemon then come battle these guys. But you know what? They're only level 11 or so. So all right, Rocker Crystal, what you got? Altaria, not too shabby. But again, uh, you know we are only as strong as the previous gym leader's Ace on some of our team right now. So uh, we're not exactly over level for what's to come. These trainers, okay, yeah, they're, they're, they're looking a little lackluster, let's put it that way. But uh, overall, on the whole, I think we'll be okay. That is such a weird noise for Pursuit. That does not sound right, but maybe it is. I just haven't heard it in a while. All right, Ricardo. That is a lot of experience, good lord. Yes, you have no healthy Pokemon left to fight. My apologies. All right, uh, well, let's do this double battle real quick. We'll leave one person up there that we could battle uh, if we so choose, if we find a weak Pokemon that we would like to train up. We're going to combine our strength to do our best, so please watch. Um, one plus one is two, right? That is correct, small child. Cool couple, Zoe and Kim. All right, they're a very cute little grade school couple. All right, a couple of besties. Frisk. Okay, I don't care at all about Frisk. Um, 
Sorry to do this to you, Charmander. It's got to be done. Did I do those two attacks backwards? Yes, we should have technically bitten the Gothita, but I was pretty sure to go down to one wing attack anyways, and I wanted to keep Charmander on the screen for a little bit longer, knowing that Hanshiko would attack first. Oh, you're faster than Felix even. Dang, Felix is slow. All right, well. Excuse me? You survived that, Charmander? Wow, mad props. Way to go, Charmander. All right, you're, you're not going to survive this, but I'm impressed that you took that one bite. Well done. Charmander, constantly exceeding my expectations. And I have pretty high expectations for Charmander because he's awesome. I believe that they'll heal us in here as well. I think that there's a healer in here. Will you heal me? Thank you, thank you. All right, I don't think there's anything else for us in this house, but we will check real quick. I am familiar with the levels. I, I just told you I'm familiar. Don't don't tell me. Hello. Okay, you got nothing for me? Pretty sure you guys got nothing for me. Yeah, yeah! Rah! I'll run! Are you gonna chase me? Are you gonna run? I'll chase you! Chasing really changes your perspectives. What a what a cerebral child. Alright, uh, we battle chair in here, don't we? I think we battle chair in here. Get Felix out front because he is our lowest level. Get him some of the experience here, but I'm pretty confident we battle Charon. I actually remember something for once. Nice! Stop! We both have a trio badge. Let's see which one of us is stronger. All right. They were uh, definitely less optional on the rival battles uh, than they are in the most recent games. In the most recent games, Hop is like, are you ready to battle? Let me know when you are. And then in this one, there's like, happening right now. We're throwing down. I've asked you to battle and you cannot say no. Alright, he's already got his Duat evolved. Sorry, his Oshawat evolved into Duat. Uh, we should be okay here. I doubt it will have any um, ice coverage at that level. Seems very unlikely. And we resist its water type stab, so hey, okay with that. Looks like maybe a four shot. Let's throw out one Hone Claws to make sure it's going to be a three shot here. Focus Energy doesn't, doesn't bother. Blah, 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 blah. Focus energy doesn't bother me because uh, he's not doing enough damage for me to really care as it is. I thought we were getting fur fury swipes there. Uh, not furry swipes. Very different thing. Um, water swipe. That's A-OK. -okay, so you can weaken fire's power. I do not mind at all. I don't have any fire types, so it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Ornberry? Oh, Charon. Such a good trainer. Always with these Ornberries. We might still be in range here to take this thing out. It'll be close. It'll be close. I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. All right, we did. Sweet. All right. Ooh, that is a solid amount of experience there. So it's a little bit strange that uh, the other trainers in this area have such weak Pokemon, but then we're battling Charon, and he's got a level 16 as his ace. Foresight, that's fine. You're going to identify me. Nothing. I'm not immune to anything anyways, so doesn't hurt. Yeah, definitely not right to be having the... Uh, the King's Rock on our boy Felix. He is far too slow to make any use of that. I think we'll still take this out here. It'll be close, but... Oh, it was so close. Barely hung on. That's a shame. Oh, come on! And now you're going to endure and hang on even more? Can we even do any damage? It might actually already be at 1 HP. Yeah, it's literally already at 1 HP. All right. Come on. Just go down, low bunny. Return, that's fine. You're not gonna yourself to a. Uh... Ooh, that was actually a lot of damage to rough skin. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. We have an encounter on this route, and we have an encounter on the cave coming up. And then we don't have an encounter for a while. Though I do think that there's doubles grass ahead, so we could wait and uh, go to the doubles grass. The doubles grass is risky for other reasons, um, but hopefully it'll be alright. I think we have a little bit of a graphical error going on there, but that's okay. What was that about? Bianca, why are you running? Hey, where were those people headed? They headed to the dead end cave up ahead. That way, but why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast. Miss, uh, my Pokemon. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Don't cry. Bianca, really? Why were you running? You have to hear this. Then finally tell us, please. Those people stole that girl's Pokemon. You should have spoken up sooner! Yeah, like seriously, Bianca, come on, you're just wasting time. I mean, they are in a dead end, so it doesn't really matter. Nice, we're gonna get that Pokemon back. Bianca, please stay by the girl's side. And we're dipping out, running the other way. Uh, heal up our Pokemon real quick, why not? We did take a solid chunk there. 
at the last second from that Lopani's return, but at least it wasn't uh, Endeavor. Endeavor would have been quite annoying, so it put us to 1 HP. All right. Um, so I want this item, but I want to wait till we get our encounter in the Doubles Grass. So there's another item there, so we'll come back and get those in just a moment here. But we have an encounter inside this cave first. They ran inside here! Nice! You're- yeah, we're fine. We're good to go. Let, let's go. We're gonna have a double battle here with Charon, I believe. Who do we want up front for that? Probably Karis, given that he's gonna be a little slower to level up here than Ricardo and Felix. Uh, we can get our encounter in here if we just run back and forth real quick before triggering the battle. If we move forward too far, though, we will trigger the battle, so we gotta go up and down here. Alright, what do we got? Something that doesn't murder itself. Okay! Kranidos? I'm okay with that. Not mad at that. Uh, how do I weaken this thing effectively? I do like Mold Breaker. That's pretty sick. Um, I worry that we would take it out with one double kick. I don't think we would. Oh man, it's gonna take forever to hit this thing with quick attacks though. Um, let's get Felix in here and have Felix bite it. Uh, it'll also do some damage to itself with uh, Rough Skin, so that'll help. Okay, focus energy. That's fine. Uh, I'm pretty confident it can live one bite, even with rough skin damage coming through. Okay, that's a little bit closer than I thought it'd be, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I am okay with it doing some damage to itself with rough skin right now, so we will keep Felix in. Get a little bit lower if this doesn't catch it, because uh, I think it might have an, a pretty decently high catch rate, given it's a fossil Pokemon. Headbutt, that's probably going to hurt a bit. Is that a crit? Yeah, that's it. That had to be a crit. Okay, so we can take one more rough skin hit for sure, and then after that we're going to switch back out into Karis. All right, just get caught, Kranidos. I don't mind your typing being added to the team. It's pretty sweet, actually. No, come on. Folks, and yeah, you do that all you like, sir. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, we got a Kranidos in the cave. I forget what the cave is called, but... Stop it, get caught. Leer, okay. Um, Let's do some math real quick, then. Last one was a crit that did 29 damage. That's not good. Okay, yeah, but crit will now knock us out, unfortunately. So we'll throw a potion on real quick. So I don't want to run all the way back and heal anyways. And I do want him to hit me one more time to get that rough skin damage in on him. So I just don't want to get a... Ooh, pursuit. That could have killed me. That was a crit. There's rough skin. So now I need to switch. And if he pursues us and crits, we might die. And he might kill himself with rough skin in the process that'd just be a nightmare okay thank goodness he didn't do it but if he pursued us crit killed us then died to rough skin i'd have lost my mind lost my mind i'd have been so angered all right luckily we should be okay now um we don't have a ton of pokeballs left but hopefully he will cooperate soon sorry she will cooperate soon what do you want to name this coranidos come on you got this you got this oh this is it this is it all right coranidos All right, we've come up with a name. Why did I decide on this name? What does it mean? I have no idea. Hopefully it's nothing offensive in any language I'm not familiar with. But we're going to name her... Ah. Nope, nope, we're, we're changing it. You're gonna be, whoop. You're gonna be Viv. Short for Vivian. Why do I keep choosing girls' names that are short for something else? Because I don't feel like typing out the entire name. No, I just like nicknames. I like nicknames that are, sorry, I like names that can have pretty concise nicknames. Um, okay, so here, this we will give the experience share to now. Because Viv is not currently capable of fighting on her own, mainly just because of the uh, experience issue. Uh, sorry, the uh, HP issue. Not really the level. Uh, let's check out what your summary is. We know you have Mold Breaker. What moves do you have? Lowered special, sorry, raised special attack, lowered speed, that sucks, because it's never going to really get many special attacking moves, so pretty much just losing speed for nothing, but it was already going to be a pretty slow Pokemon, so not a big deal. Headbutt's pretty sick. Uh, you know, can't lie, Headbutt's a solid move. Uh, Mold Breaker is a great ability, too, so not a bad addition to the team. Uh, does it really cover any weaknesses we were missing? Hits rock types, which we didn't have anything great for. Uh... 
takes flying flying types a little bit better. Uh, it, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, no glaring. There weren't really any gigantic glaring holes in our team's weaknesses as it was. So, really, can't even make it one step. Find another Kranidos. All right. We'll take this one out. Why not? All right. Mold Breaker. One of my favorite abilities just in the game. Honestly, Mold Breaker's pretty great. So, could it have lived? It could not have lived a double kick. All right. Good to know. We did crit, but, uh, the crit would do double damage. And that was only the first kick from double kick. So, that thing was going down regardless. All right. Uh, let's do this. Nice. This bothersome bunch doesn't really listen to reason. That child cannot use the Pokemon to its fullest potential. Doesn't that make the Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all your Pokemon, so hand them over to us now. Better yet, we'll just take them! I do like this theme quite a lot. Jessica! Alright. Archaeops, okay. That's a, that's a strong mod, for sure. As soon as we get it below half HP, though, not quite as threatening. I think we'll probably hit him with a Metal Claw here. Double kick is probably more damage, but, uh, you know, there's a chance we get the attack boost, and uh, it doesn't matter because it's dead. But, uh, also, you know, we're only neutral with double kick, so Metal Claw is uh, actually the only super effective move we had. They need to give us more money, dude. Everyone's giving us, like, a Pokeball and a half worth of cash, and that's it. Not bad, nice. Okay, so go return the Pokemon to that girl. You don't need to return it! How troublesome! Not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in our way to boot! There's two of us and two of you! We'll show you our combined power to teach you that we're right. So, there are more of them. Still, why are Pokemon Rabbers acting so self-righteous? Nice! We've been friends our whole lives. We've got each other's back when it counts. Let's show them how it's done. I just met you five episodes ago, sir. Uh, not really sure that I've known you my whole life. Jonathan and Wayne. Jonathan Wayne. Nope, I don't think it's actual an actual character. We have Bruce Wayne and his father was What was his father's name? I forget. Um we can double kick the Stoutland. Stoutland's definitely the biggest threat here, so we'll go ahead and take it out first. Uh but Jonathan was Superman's uh father's name. Uh Jonathan Kent. Copying me with the double kicking. Quite rude. At least it wasn't on us. That is super effective, so that'd be a little scary. Yo! Step it up, Charon. What you doing? Step it up. <laughs> Doubling into the poor duo. That was a lot of damage. Dang. Uh, now hit the Deerling. Because, uh, you know, Oshawott can probably take out the Stoutland potentially. Uh, if it attacks it, that is. And we can take out the Deerling in one hit, most likely. So, two hits. One, one session of hits. What was Batman's father's name? It was Martha? It wasn't Jonathan. It can't have been Jonathan. It can't have been Jonathan Wayne. I know it wasn't. That doesn't sound right at all. What was his father's name? I can't remember. Can't remember. It's driving me crazy. Whatever. What a waste of time. Come on, what reason could possibly justify us stealing Pokemon from other people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer! What do you mean trainers are making Pokemon suffer? I don't get that at all! We'll give you back the Pokemon, but be aware of how this Pokemon suffers by being used by people. Someday, open your eyes to your own com... com... Complexity? Complacency? Didn't see it, I clicked through it too fast to actually catch what the word was. Trainers bring out Pokemon strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, nice. I'll return the Pokemon. Sweet, because I got an item to get here. Mudshot. Okay, that's a pretty solid TM. Not mad at that at all. Some good coverage for us. I uh, don't know what it originally was, though. So I'm not sure who could learn it, but we will find out. It is special, which is not super great. Everyone can learn it. Well, okay. It is special. Does anyone have a decent special attack that could benefit from this coverage? Special attack is totally solid. Really good. Fine. Absolute 
a travesty. It's an absolute travesty. Uh, okay, well, I mean, let's go ahead and teach that to uh, probably a couple of our guys here. I mean, that's, that's great coverage. Let's take a ground type. Sorry, I got rock types, fire types, electric types. Just overall pretty good. Uh, we can get rid of Haze. Haze could actually be really good. We're going to get rid of Astonish. Astonish isn't going to be that useful for us. Pretty much anything it's going to be good against, we're going to have the same kind of coverage with Pursuit, and we'll have Stab for Pursuit, and it's just more uh, damage to begin with. Um, so yeah, let's give this here. I think we could probably get rid of Leer at this point. Don't see Leer really doing too much for us. Uh, it is not ideal, you know, to have uh, entirely attacking moves, but it'll be all right. Okay, I think we got the better of the two options in this cave. I don't mind Vanillite, but... It's so frail that it'd be difficult to actually train up. Uh, we'll go ahead and take it out. This might not even be enough experience to get us that level. We'll see. It'll be close. Level 17? Oh, we did make it to level 17. All right, we need to switch Karras out from being out front. Uh, he's doing totally fine on the uh, experience front there. And uh, let's let uh, Ricardo jump back out into the action some. All right. So we have a couple of items to get here, but we will wait until we get our double battle encounter down there. Just a, you know, bit... No! Let me go back and heal. I don't want to do this yet. Nice! Thank you so much! The two of you got our Pokemon back. I'm lucky to have friends like you two. Thank you, mister! Please take these as a thank you present! Okay, I'm not going to be too mad. Thank you, little girl. I do appreciate that. Ooh, those are heal balls! They completely heal the captured Pokemon on the spot! How sweet of you! I'm going to go see this little girl on her way. So see you later, nice. Bye-bye. We're going that way, too, because we're going back in healing. All right, so we've got those two items to get. We have our double battle encounter coming up here. You know, if you got an option at a double battle, there are totally different spawns in the double battle area than there are in the single uh, grass. Uh, but, you know, you get two shots at it. Carries its own risk. Uh, they could attack each other. No. I just paid $200 for literally nothing. I don't want you, Nori. I don't want you. No. I went into the wrong building and was just talking and distracted. No. Take Nori back. Take her back. I don't want her yet. All right. Thank you. We'll come back for her. Probably never, but maybe later. You know, there's, there's always a chance. All right. Please heal me. Thank you. Appreciate it greatly. Went in the right building this time. Just wasted $200. We'll just pretend that it took one extra Pokeball to catch that Kranidos, and uh, we'll, we'll call it even. All right, so in the next one, we will go and get that encounter using the Doubles Grass. Uh, hopefully those Pokemon don't fight each other or deal damage to both of themselves or anything nonsensical like that, or use Self-Destruct or Explosion and take themselves and the other Pokemon out in the process. That's always the risk of a single battle, uh, but, you know, it's not that likely to happen. That'll do it for this one, though. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series still. Hit the like button for me if you are. Subscribe if you want to see some more of these in the future. I know you're already subscribed, you. Uh, hit the bell icon to get notifications for when new episodes come out. There's a brand new episode of something every single day on this channel coming out at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And until the next episode, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, check out these similar videos floating all around your screen.